Love you too. Back with another video. Yes, I did it. I purchased the new 22 E Pro by Flagstaff. Now, this sucker is going to be an upgrade from all the tents, all the tent camping and everything I've done over the years. This is the major upgrade, guys. If you've been thinking about a camper and you're anywhere near Owensboro, Kentucky, go to Owensboro RV. My son sold me that, that's for Jared Osborne. Yeah, Jared Osborne, he sold it to me. Gave me a heck of a deal. This Flagstaff E-Pro, it is loaded, guys, loaded. I wanna show you some of the features we got here. So we got the electric jack, all right? The tongue, you don't have to do any more cranking. There's no more cranking anymore, guys. Just two buttons, up and down, all right? We got the dual. We got the dual tanks on here, 20 pounds a piece propane, guys. Uh, they even hooked me up with an interstate battery back here. I got one interstate, so it's not the cheap battery that most most uh, RV places give you, like Walmart, Die Hard brand. You know, this is the interstate. Uh, let's see, what more can I tell you about the outside? So the whole rating on this mug, if you got a van, I'm towing this with a van, yes ma'am. Yes sir. So it's a 3,100 3, pounds is all this mug is, guys. 3,100. So if you got a van or RV, you're gonna wanna haul an RV, a van can do it, all right? I got a Dodge Caravan rated for 3,600 pounds. So yes, if you was thinking, oh, I don't have a truck, I can't haul an RV. Yes, you can, 3,600, so. I'll let you guys know on other videos how it goes on my first trip, but I'm very excited about this purchase. As you can see, we got the lights right here, the docking lights on here. Check this window out, guys. No frame windows, automotive windows. Uh, just the decals. Look at these decals on this mug, guys. I love the decals. Let's check over here to the side here. Storage compartments. What more can I tell you about these storage compartments? Well, I'll tell you what. This Flagstaff has a key, all right? They're all key to light. You ain't got to go through five, six keys for your storage compartments. You got a master key that opens all your storage compartments. Uh, we have a solar hookup right here. Check this out, guys. So if you got a solar panel, there's where you go at right there. You got your... Uh, solar hookup and we also uh, got this nice canopy guess what it's about this canopy guys electric just push of a button roll in roll out uh, the steps sturdy steps check this out guys I'm on a hill I'm on a hill but look at this I mean these steps are solid okay they got these latches on here where you can set them to whatever <clears throat> Whatever slope you're on or whatever, it's firm. You're not gonna move. Uh, handle, phones in and out. Nice, okay? Older guys, older people, uh, you won't have a problem getting in and out of your camper. Keyless entry, check this out, guys. So you got the keyless entry, so if you, you're at your campsite, you want to get in and out quickly, you just punch that code in or you want to lock it each time. You got the option to lock it or use the key cup or keypad. Same thing on the windows over here, guys. Check this out. Look at the frame of these windows. It is nice. You don't have to worry about leakage. Uh, same thing with this window. Check that out, guys. That is, they were nice windows, I'm telling you. Automotive glass. Uh, you already got the tent already good now check this out we have our outlet right outside so when you want to plug something in you got dual outlets right there you plug whatever in this right here guys this 22 flagstaff e-pro comes with a griddle and i ain't lying a griddle you mount that sucker right here it's got a table extension table cook right outside you know what i mean got your canopy up uh 
speaker. Got your outdoor speaker. You got to be sitting out here grilling, listen to your music or whatever. I'm telling you guys. Now check these tires out. I want y'all to see these tires. These are some nice tires. We got the CR857. These things, these things are nice. 235-75R15. So these things are made for off-road, okay? Look at the tread on those. That's nice. You're not gonna have a problem going through the woods. You're not gonna have a problem pulling it, you know, worried about, oh, I won't be able to pull through that. Yes, you can. Look at the fender wells. Fender wells. Nice. It's gonna keep your camper from getting rocks thrown up on it or not. Uh, and scratching your paint and all that. So your decals. So that's nice. Uh, here's another storage compartment, guys. Uh, I won't open them all up today, but I'll open this one. All right, so you got, you got storage compartments around this whole thing, okay? There's two on one side, and we can go around the other side. Okay. Check this out. All right, we got four right here. Got a nice, I'll show you the key. Oh, by the way, those nice docking light or docking lights right there. We got an on and off switch right here for your dock lights. Master key right there. That will unlock all your compartments, guys. So show you a little something right here okay so this is where all your supplies are gonna go you got your 30 amp cord in there you can you, uh, you got your that comes with the camper also 30 amp cord comes with it you got this right here you can either pack a drill or you can use this but this thing is real easy guys I don't even suggest using a drill because this thing is it's fun for the kids to use, you know, it's just give them something to do, but uh, I feel like they're important, you know. So, there's that compartment. And we also have another compartment right here. Check that out. Now, that's the griddle I was telling you about. I still haven't got it out of the box. It's still in the box. There's no sense of me getting it out. I haven't went camping yet. But... This is a major store. A lot of people I've seen uh, that camp, they get them three storage bins and they slide right underneath your couch. And I'll show you inside when we get inside, but they slide right under your couch. You can store all your equipment, everything you need to be stored in that couch. So you will have plenty of space, okay? If you're worried about space. Lock that back up. Now also, guys, check this out portable shower now how many guys don't want to track your camper up got sand all over you you know you're just like you don't want to track that in your camper you go swimming you get all that well here's the answer right here portable shower let me show you this there's nothing much to it but i want to show you everything so check this out guys hot water cold water you're sitting there out there in the hot sun you just want to put some water on you guess what you want to wash dishes out here save on your uh save on your water inside where you don't fill your tank up this is the answer right here wash that stuff outside you don't have to uh waste fill your tank up using that all right Here's your 30 amp plug in, all right? That's where you're gonna plug in for your power. Nice, it's covered. You know, it looks good. It's very good. Um, have your septic drain right there. Uh, okay, so I wanna show you something. We got uh, we got the drip drain also. How many guys know when that water runs down, you're not gonna just 
have it run down your camper and get that water stain on your camper. We got these drains on each corner if you look. One on there in the front, one on the back, each on the corner. Let's come around back, let me show you some of this. Check this out, guys. This thing, I'd say it's made like a tank, but it's not. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it is aluminum build, okay? So you can walk on this roof. And I don't have enough space to climb up there right now in between my roof and whatever, but take my word for it, you can walk on the roof. And I'm talking, they didn't give me a rating, so they didn't tell me how many pounds, but I, I believe my son when he says I can walk on the roof, so. Uh, also, we got a, if we want to hook up a rear, how many people, you know, are scared of backing a camper up? A lot of people, you know, you don't want to back into some, ruin your new camper. Well, there's a spot where you can hook your backup camera right up here. Okay. They already got it. They already thought of it. So it doesn't have the backup camper, but you can put that on your camper to give you a peace of mind when you're backing, you're not sure you don't have anybody with you. This camera will truly help you out. Now this ladder, it's an aluminum ladder, okay? This ladder you can take on and off. If you don't want to haul this ladder, you don't have to have it on there. I like the looks of it personally. Like I said, uh, it's not going anywhere. You got your pins in here, it's attached to. Um, here's all your hookups. Right back here, your water hookup connection, your cable satellite, all your connections are right back here, okay? I mean, this thing is built tough, I'm telling you, built tough. I mean, how many, I mean, look at this, looks at this, look at that stag, our flagstaff name right there. That is sweet. I mean, just the decals, I love the decals. Now let's go inside. Now I will warn you guys, it's not big. This is a 19 foot, 20 foot with a tongue, okay? So you have your basics in here. But I'm telling you, you have your base, you have a lot of extras in here also. I'll let y'all see this right here. It says the Flagstaff difference. Now guys, it's got Dexter Tors uh, Torsen axles. Uh, there's the steps I was telling you about, the supported steps that adjust. I will tell you, I will show you this right here. I got the package inside. It's already in my vehicle, but the TST tire pressure monitor system. This lets you know, guys, if the tires are going flat or losing any air pressure, all right? These tires come factory equipped with nitrogen in these tires, guys. So you, uh, you don't have to worry about that. You know, nitrogen is supposed to be lighter than air and they are i put i honestly i recommend to put it in your vehicle that you're towing the camper with that way all tires match and you don't have to worry about it so i did put uh all nitrogen in my van tires just before i'm gonna uh do any hauling so you might i, I recommend that i really do so uh let's take a look inside So as you come in, you have your control panel right here. This right here activates your lights. Here's your porch. Uh, so your awning, steps, awning retract, in and out. Okay, your water pump, your gas water heater, electric. Uh, so depending on if you're using gas or electric, this would be the switch to go from one to the other, whether you're using propane or you're using electric. So uh, your tank heater, this this will tell you your battery level, which mine is full. Um, I didn't mention, but there's a solar panel, comes with a 190 watt solar panel on top of the roof, yes. It comes solar equipped, guys. Now, this light right here, I do have some fresh water in the tank where I bought it. I didn't put it there, but they, they flushed the system and it was winterized, so there's probably water left in it. There's your black tank is empty and my gray tank is empty. Remember what I was saying about saving water on your gray? About using that outside, that's how you save water. You're filling your tank up, you use that shower outside. So if you wanna wash dishes or whatever. Now, let's take a look around. 
Jared, do you care to elaborate what bed this is? What's the name of that bed? A Murphy bed. A Murphy bed. Okay. So this Murphy brand, guys, check this recliner out. Or I say, I said recliner. This is a couch recliner on both sides. So, you want comfort? Check this out, guys. So, you're in your camper. All right, check that out. So, you got the reclining. It's like you're at home, guys. It's like you're sitting on your your couch at home. So they they built it with comfort, okay? So, like I said about the Murphy bed. So look, let's let's before I pull the Murphy bed out, let's let's look at these cabinets. So his and her cabinets. Check this out. It's not much to them, but as you can see, they provided you with a coat a coat hanger. So to hang your clothes at the top of it. You can push stuff in the back. So you got one, two, three. There's enough for a week's worth of outfits there. You don't have to worry about getting wrinkled or whatever, you know? So same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. So you got his and her cabinets. All right. So check these, check these blinds out, guys. How do you know when you pull a blind and it just jerks up? Messes the blind up sometimes, tears it up, but watch this. Slowly rolls up, okay? It don't go up too fast. It don't uh, it don't tear it up or whatever. Uh, so you got your screen inside. You got your, your knob to open your windows, okay? Let some fresh air in, and it is hot today. Um, another thing I didn't mention, you got an outlet back here by see that yes you got a double outlet right there ac outlet on one side and then on the other side we got a dual usb outlet on the other side so you will not go without power and did i mention this camper is 12 volt powered for the most part okay uh, so that means, what that means with your solar panel up on the top, running 190, you're probably not gonna pull 190. You're probably more, you know, it's probably gonna be like more of 120, 130-ish. But that's gonna be enough to power your TV. Jared, you wanna show the TV? That's 12 volt TV, guys. So you don't have to worry about that. There's your radio. Jared, just showing you radio. Um, I will show you all the sound. Jared, you want to turn that radio on? Let me listen to it. Now, mind you guys, I'm running off. Sounds good, don't it? Sounds really good. But guys, this is, uh, that's outside now. That sounds good. Mind you, I'm running off my solar panel. My battery's still on full. I've had this camper for how long, Jared? A week. A week. A solid week, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you something else. This is the Wi-Fi extender. So if you're at a campground, and you, you know how campgrounds the Wi-Fi sucks, they provide you with a Wi-Fi extender, which will help you with your Wi-Fi. So don't worry about that. Also, Jared, you want to tell them about this GoPro? Yep. Come on, Jared. I mean, since it's your solar amp controller is what it is. It tells you your voltage you're pulling out, uh, how many amps you're pulling right now, and then your charge battery. So tell them what, how many amps I'm uh, pulling right now just by sitting here. So this is pulling right at, what, 40, 44? Yep. 448. 448. 448 right now. So that is not bad, guys. That's not bad. 13.2, 100%. Uh, you can also guys you can also hook you can also hook uh this thing up through bluetooth so the uh you can have all that on your phone okay uh also i didn't show you jared Let's show them this right here so you download this app guys right here and that's going to give you access to turning on your lights uh your awning slide out you can operate that by your phone. Yes, I did say by your phone. So you don't even have to get up. So me and my wife both downloaded the app. Uh, we have it on our phone and we can turn the lights on and off through our phone, which is very nice. 
Okay, guys, let's come over to the kitchen. Oh, one more thing before we go to the kitchen. So this is what I was telling you about, guys. This TST. A lot of campers do not come with this, okay? This is a Flagstaff product, and it comes with this 22E Pro that we bought. This is going to monitor your tires. Those, those green caps Jared showed, that's how you, this system works. It's Bluetooth, and it works through your... You'll carry this actual monitor inside your vehicle, and it will tell you your tire pressure. So if you're losing any kind of tire pressure, you will know it. You will know to slow down. Everybody knows safety first, right? Safety is more important than anything, especially when hauling anything. You don't want to hurt nobody, and you don't want to hurt your family by hauling a camper. So this is a nice bonus, and this, I don't know what this would run if you bought it uh, somewhere or whatever, but it's nice that it comes with the camper. So let's show you some storage space up here. I got some stuff up here already. Pretty good storage space, guys. Um, we have a lot of things that I've showed you guys. I have some of those camping items I showed you already in this camper or whatever. I got them stored up there for when we go camping. But, okay, like I said, let's go down to the hood. All right, check this out, guys. We're on 12 volt. I haven't charged anything. We're running off solar only. Light comes on automatic. Fan. Do you hear anything? That fan's running good, okay? It's not slow. It's not like it's lack of power. It's running great. That's all off that 12 volt. Okay, so guys, a lot of people don't like this feature on this particular camper because they say the grease and everything. I per prefer the mini blinds, okay guys? I like them. Um, I might change them later on and put curtains up. I don't know, but I've seen some videos where people put curtains. This little black piece right here. This guy's, that's your knife, that's your knife storage rack. Uh, very nice. Uh, now check the stove out. See, it's, you see how hard that was, guys, when I just, like, it's got a little bit of, mag, it's like magnet to it that holds it down. So you just fold that back up. That folds all the way up, guys. So that will protect, that will protect your mini blinds, guys. I mean, you're not getting your mini blinds all, because that, that's like a guard against the bottom. If, if, you can raise them up, so don't worry about that. You got your three burner stove, okay? Can't do a lot of big cooking on this thing, but when you're camping, how many knows, how many guys, people know that, who cares? You know, you're gonna cook a meal at a time. Okay, the oven, I've seen reviews on small ovens, and a lot of people think that if you put the uh, heat distribution of this oven is not spread out. So what a lot of people recommend is you get a pizza stone and put it in there and that distributes the heat better. So we might try that. We haven't used the oven, so we don't know how how it's gonna work. But look here, guys. Below the oven, we already got pans stored there. Um, you got your storage for your pans, guys. Now look at this. We didn't point this out a while ago, but all your knobs are lit up. Ain't that nice? That is nice. Okay, now come over here. We have this nice stainless steel faucet, all right? Pretty nice, right? On and off. Okay, a lot of people, a lot of people say, well, there's no, there's no area to cook, but look at this roller. Oh, that rolls right up, stainless steel. But I wanna show you something, guys. Look at this. So you can put pressure on that. This is your, you can use this to bring your pans over. You got, you don't have to put, a lot of people use uh, cutting boards and put over the top of that. You could put a cutting board over that, but I'm telling you, it's strong. That is strong. I mean, I don't think you're going to bend it by putting a pan on it, is what I'm saying. So you're good there. Now, also, look at here. You're thinking about storage, right? Or space for your countertop. Check that out. So you have, you have a spot to put more stuff, guys, in this camper. They thought of that. I've seen people add their own. This comes equipped. 
the E-Pro comes equipped. They thought of a lot of stuff, guys, and this is one of a, a nice feature they added on this 22. Now, also, you got a crock pot, a coffee pot. They thought, okay, we got this table here. Here we go, a dual outlet. You can put your coffee pot, put your, uh, uh, just your griddle, maybe. You want an electric griddle, maybe. Uh, you can store that right there. I think that's enough counter space for a small one. Here's our thermostat right here. Now, Jared, would you tell me about you cannot you can run everything off solar, but the furnace. You right? can run the furnace. You just can't run the AC. That's can't. just for your furnace only. This is yes. AC. Right furnace here. right here, guys. Yeah. So you can't use. You can use the electric for the furnace, right? Yep. Okay. So you can use your electric for the furnace, like you said, but the AC is not enough power coming through there to run your AC. Here's your AC unit right up on top. Uh, this is a nice unit, guys. It's very nice. You got your, uh, where you can change your... It comes out, guys. It's a little rough. Anyway, I won't take it apart, but I will show you. There's the screen right there. So if that gets clogged, you can get that out. I just don't want to break it right off the get-go. But uh, so you have a dual screen on both sides. If that starts to get lint built up and everything, now I want to show you something, guys. Listen to that sound. That's a solid roof, guys. A lot of your campers, you're gonna hear echo. You're gonna hear a lot, like like you're hitting a wall and there's no stud there. Guess what? That sounds like a stud everywhere you hit, okay? That's a solid, solid roof. That's one of the things my son sold me on this camper. You, how many guys, How many of you guys know you don't wanna do a lot of maintenance on top of this, these roofs and you don't want your trailer to leak, right? You don't want your camper leaking because that, I mean, once it leaks, it's always gonna leak. You're gonna ruin your paneling. You're gonna have water stains. Nobody wants water stains. So they recommended like once a year, get up on top of there and look at your look at your caulking around there and caulk this mug. But this thing should not leak at the seams. There should be no water leakage like some of the older style campers. They'll leak down the walls and then once and then the floors go. This thing is built tough. Now my son says it's Amish built. So the cabinetry is not your cheap cabinetry. Uh, it's not, it's, it's not, I like, I like the look of it. I really do. I like the uh, wood grain style and I like the uh, color actually. So I'm very pleased with the wood. Um, now, let's, while I got you at this end, let's show you this bed. Let's show you this uh, fold out. So, Guys, what you do is you press up on this. Jared, how about I video you doing right. this? So my son is going to show me. He said he's Jared Osmer's his name. Like I said, he works at our Owensboro RV, and he sold me this camper, guys. And um, he's going to show you how this bed works right now. So check this out, guys. I do have some bags in here he's got to move so we can set it down. Okay. The thing is lightweight, guys. You're not going to, uh, you're not going to have problems with this bed. So I want to show you this, guys. This thing, Jared, what size is this bed? It's a queen. Queen. Queen size bed, guys. It's not bad. I'm telling you, a lot of people maybe add uh, mattress toppers or whatever. I like a firm mattress. This is kind of firm. Okay, you might add a uh, you might add a pillow top to it or uh, like a, uh, what's those uh, mattress toppers that uh, what are they called, Jared? It's uh, not a mattress topper. Just a mattress topper, but no. The, What's the styrofoam ones like? What's the name? Memory foam. Memory foam yeah. You might add a memory foam to this if it's just too hard. Uh, personally, I don't think it's hard at all. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I'm like laying not on the edge. But there's room for another person. 
my little girl might be end up fit in bed with this. I don't know, but this this is the way to go right here. I'm telling you, you can fold it up. It's out of your way. You got your recliner, uh, but I really like the bed style. I really do. Uh, as you can see, you got your window behind you. Check this out, guys. So you want the view? You want to look outside, or you know maybe you don't want that view. It also has a blind. Okay, I won't pull it down. I like it that way. Uh, the mattress is going to hide that anyway, but in case you want to pull the blind, you can pull the blind at night or whatever. But as you can see, guys, this is this is pretty good size bed. I expect it to be a full size, honestly, by looking at it. But he says it's a queen. And I believe it after laying in it now. But So that's the bed part of it. Now... I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down for right now because we're gonna go. Did we open the refrigerator, Jared? No, we didn't. Okay. So, refrigerator, guess what, guys? 12 volt, okay? Ice cold, as you can see. I was trying to pull some ice off there. It's icy in there, guys. Very nice. It's Magic, magic Chef. I don't really care for the cheap brand. It's a kind of cheaper brand, but it's okay. For camping, it's perfect. So here's your inside refrigerator, guys. Okay. So we have no food in there. Yes, we're not went camping yet. We have any nothing in here. But I do have an egg container. All right. But you got your storage drawer. All right. You got two shelves. Okay. And then you got your third, your third space, and you can you can take your shelves out rearrange them but i do like this feature guys look at this so you have your you can store your ketchup your other items whatever condiments and you also have these little things right here you could take that out if you wanted to store something else but i like them i don't know what i'm going to store in them yet but i do cokes. like them yeah cokes um so that's made for canned coke then yeah okay so also, more storage. more storage right above your kitchenette, guys. And I'll show you the kitchenette in a minute. But see how easy the cabinets open? Not bad at all, right? A lot of people I've seen that have campers divide this shelf, okay? They divide and put a shelf in the middle, stack your canned goods, and make a two-layer thing and not waste space. So you can do that or stack or whatever. We're probably going to add a shelf eventually. But uh, check this cabinetry out. So the only flaw that I've found, and I will tell you guys on these cabinets, is these little plastic pieces. They've been known to break, uh, come out. But the all, overall workmanship of the cabinets is really nice. I just wish they would have used metal on those instead of plastic. But uh, the hinges, all stainless steel, you know, shut real easy. Uh, a lot of people I've noticed in campers with the square, they do change these out to rounded because they say that they get caught with them like down low in the drawers and everything. But uh, so there's actually three three cabinets. Uh, you could keep one full and just divide the two, or just leave them all. I mean, either way you want to do it. Uh, we have a carbon not a smoke alarm, carbon oxide detector. Okay, so every camper needs that and they all should come standard with that. But check these lights out, guys. Say it's too bright, okay? Say it's too bright in the camper, you're thinking, man, that's too bright. So you just turn each individual one off. So let's turn them back on. But look, we also have one under the kitchenette. So maybe you don't want all that light, but you want that where you're eating, okay? Now also, I want to show you this nice kitchenette here. So you're in a camper, it's limited space, okay? All right, so you just flip these over. They got Velcro on them. All right, your kitchen, your kitchen table is right under here. All right. Now I do have the pole outside. I won't show you guys, but the table does 
So, Jared, right here, there's two clips where the table hooks onto against your wall, which is solid, guys. And then you have your pole attachment right here where you put your pole and that raises your table. So, it's nice. I've seen it. I've had it set up. It's nice. But check this table out, guys. I like the finish. It's like a marble finish. It's it really look. I mean, it really looks nice, and I think it'll be durable, just for the simple fact of the way it's made. It's not it's not smooth. It's not a smooth table, so it's kind of rough. So it, I think it could take a beating, you know, with forks, kids eating on it or whatever. It's got the shiny finish to it. Uh, also, with the bed, a full size guy. I'm 220. I'm a, well, 217 now. I'm 217 pounds, guys. And I want to show Jared. Jared, how much are you? 155. 155. Now I can show you me. I want to video Jared laying down in there. Okay, so. All right. Now tell me, Jared, if this is not really comfortable. And, I, and I've laid on it. I already know. Now, if you had a pillow, is that comfortable enough for you to sleep on? Oh, yeah. Now, look at him. He is six foot every bit of six foot he's uh, taller than me i think but look guys look at the space i mean a full-size adult so when it says it sleeps three it sleeps three comfortably okay so do not worry about that if you have company you think oh man all i have is that couch bed you know or the uh the kitchenette bed i'm telling you guys i i laid on it and i was comfortable i was watching tv on it so don't worry about that. So um, I'm trying to think if I've left out anything, guys. Uh, so also, all right. How many guys like to watch movies when you're camping? This is not only a 12 volt TV, but it's a DVD player also. So you pack your movies. They don't take up much space. You're at the campground, say you're not getting very good satellite reception. Guess what? You got your movies to fall back on. This DVD work it works perfectly. I played a DVD in it. What the kids were out here watching uh videos. And also, check this out, guys. Let me show you the hookups on this mug. So it also has a place for a laptop. Okay. So it's got the hookup for a laptop right there. See the connection? Yes, so you can hook your laptop up here and you know how many videos and stuff you can have on your laptop and play it on your TV. So uh, the range, you see the range of this? Not bad range, guys, I'm telling you. And the sound, the sound is just as good as the radio. It's, it's awesome. Let's show them the remotes, Jared, that comes with it. So in this drawer are my revo remotes. That is my TV remote, guys. For real. That's bigger than my home TV remote. So, um, I think it's funny. I got a fireplace spot on here. So, I'm not sure, Jared. Can I play the fireplace on my TV? Is that what that button so. is? Or is that for an actual fireplace? It might be for an actual TV. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It might, you might have, that's, this might be an option, guys. I haven't tried it yet, but... You know how uh, you got the fireplaces on the TV where you can watch it on Netflix and now. So this might be an option for that. But uh, that's the remote. Okay. It comes with this. It comes with this. Uh, just your silverware tray or whatever. Um, people who watch my channel. You've probably seen me advertise this or uh, review this online. This is my clothesline I just got thrown in there. Uh, this right here, there's your radio remote, okay? Uh, a lot of people I've seen, and I might use this ideal, is they put Velcro and hang their remotes. That way they're just not tossed about. You can hang them up and you know where they are and put them back up when they're done. So I might do that. So I got them in the drawer right now. It's okay. Uh, Jared, one thing we didn't go over is uh, down here. Is here is your panel, okay? Here's your fuse panel behind this. How's that open up, Jared? It's like on the middle of it. Top middle? Of the top middle. Okay, so check this out, guys. 
All right, so here's your breakers, just like a breaker box in your houses. And here's your amps, or uh, your uh, fuses right here for all your amps. The diagrams are very extensive. They show everything. Uh, you won't have any problem finding out what operates what if you have a blown fuse or anything. That's it. Um, Jared, that's also, is that the carbon dioxide that's detector? The carbon detector. Okay, so guys, you're gonna be running propane so you're going to want to have this because in case your your stove or anything starts leaking or whatever uh you'll want to have this in your, they say to clear your camper for two to three hours come back some uh they say even cooking can set that off i'm not positive on that i haven't cooked on my stove yet but don't panic when you see that thing on okay like I said, a lot of people say clear the camper for, t you, you know, if you smell gas, yes, exit the camper, whatever, uh, and then come back. But um, this is what I was telling you about the solar on board thing. Okay, this unit's equipped with solar on board. So, like I said, we have a 190 watt solar panel on top of the roof, and we might be able to show you a screen or uh, show you some video footage of the top of the roof with Jared standing up without us climbing on the ladder. So we might do that after this. So uh, this is a very this this sold me. I love solar anything, guys. And I'm telling you, when you're camping, how many guys know you need solar? Okay, you need you need the power of the sun at your hand to help you out. You know, because you don't want to be sitting out there, you know, and not being able to operate anything, you know, and solar just helps you do that. So, uh, these handles, like I said, a lot of people don't like these handles. Cause if you're a big guy or a big woman, these handles seem to grab you in the back when you're going in the bathroom or whatever. I like them. I like the style of them. Um, uh, I don't know. It's easy to open. So behind this door, is our big gigantic shower and yes i'm being funny guys but uh we'll show you what it looks like okay jared let's show them this big master bath here all right guys i'm gonna let you guys see this without me walking in there right now so check this out the first thing i'm noticing is what I'm looking at, we have a medicine cabinet, okay? Let's start there. Nice, okay, so you're not limited on just a mirror there, guys. You do have a medicine cabinet. Now, Jerry, and it's almost a full size, if you ask me. Most medicine cabinets are small. No, you can fit your toothbrush. I mean, also, you have your soap dish and your toothbrush thing right there so you don't even have to put that up there you can put your medicine your uh, supplies your uh, let's just say you're off I mean off will store in here so if you don't want to put it in the kitchen kitchen area you can put it over here now look guys that quality that quality I was talking about in the uh, on the kitchen table same design same feel to it so I don't I think it's gonna be durable stainless steel sink check that out guys stainless there's the water i was telling you i still have some uh we're sitting on a slope that's the fresh water tank with still some water in it so i'm filling my uh tank up i'm filling my gray up already i don't like that but anyway so jared let me give y'all a screenshot of this guys so jared is standing in the shower right now okay He's six foot, guys. I, you're gonna have a problem if you're tall. You're gonna have to use the spray handle, definitely. And you might, does that raise up, Jared, or not? It's just, it doesn't raise, does it? So look, the shower, another bad thing about this shower. If you're old, you wanna be careful because yeah. they do have a big step. You have to step over this, guys. It's pretty big, so uh you be careful getting inside if you purchase one of these uh you're gonna want to maybe have a step stool might be a good idea i'm not sure but just be cautious all right so we have the fan 
we have look at this fan guys now this is gonna i know a lot of people that run their exhaust fan open their windows and that sucks the breeze right through this camper because that's a big exhaust fan so check that out that is a huge exhaust fan you want to demonstrate it you want to do it yes let's do it so he's going to demonstrate the exhaust fan okay let me just move over here and get out of his way All right, so you raise the top on it, guys. That lets the air flow in, okay? Now this is on 12 volt, guys. So you're just running on solar right now. Oh my goodness, listen to the sound of that. So you got what? Uh, low, medium, and high, Jared? Yeah. Low, medium, and high. I mean, I already feel a difference. We're, we were sitting in here sweating. Jared, sucks just, humidity out. Just leave that on. So it sucks your humidity right out of your camper. Okay, this is the view from us standing in the bathroom. It looks pretty pretty far away, don't it, guys? It's not that far away, but, you know, hey, I think I like it. So, all right, Jared, leave the fan on. We'll suck the battery down some more. So let's go back to the sink. Like I said, you have a dual AC outlet also right there it also is gfci which is the protection so you got the three prongs so if you're using a, a hair dryer or anything like that it will trip the breaker that's a net that's a necessity near water so that's great we also have storage guess what guys shoot you still got storage down there toilet so paper. toilet paper you want to hide you don't want to use your cabinet space um there you go. There's your answer right there. Uh, the toilet, Jerry. Can you tell me anything about the toilet? Porcelain. Porcelain. This is not plastic, guys. Porcelain toilet. All right. That is what you find in your home. Uh, the lid is plastic, but I tell you what, the, the toilet is porcelain inside and out. So you're not gonna dislocate that from unless you just sit on it really hard. Uh, which it's at an angle which is perfect because yeah. you're not sit you want your feet to be at an angle yes so when he sits down you got room you got room to sit down and get back up they even provide a towel it matches it's stainless steel uh, we have a lot of cabinet space behind here guys uh, I got some stuff in there that I don't want to show you guys right now. I'll show you later, but I got some stuff in there that don't need to be shown on video. And if you want to see what it really is, then watch my next video. But, uh, and, uh, so, did y'all see the skylight? Yeah, I'm sure you did with his head, but, um, so the faucet, it gives you warning. Uh, it says when using shower miser with city water hookups freshwater tank can overflow on the ground so it's just giving you a caution about that uh, you also have shampoo whatever you want to put your little knit you know and also check that out guys they also give you this this comes with the camper so you want to store your sponges ladies uh, just anything you want to store up there that's able to get wet uh, nice I mean it's it's just like your typical shower uh, wall. It's, you know, they're flimsy, which that's all you need. But uh, they do provide the shower curtain. It does, it does bowl a little bit. So it feels like you got a little bit more space while you're in there. Yep. Jared, are you decent right now? Yeah. Okay. Make sure he's decent. But guys, that's pretty much sums up. The solar panel on top of the roof? Uh, yes, we're gonna go we're gonna go actually look at the solar panel. We're gonna try to show y'all the top of the camper, but overall guys, so I won't tell you prices because I got a extra good deal for my son there, but he says, Jared, tell them what they can come to Owensboro RV and get. What, pricing or? Yeah, just say they want one of these flag staffs. Probably get one right now for $29,995. $29,995. And he said that's taking care of you, yeah. because if you go to what Camping World or it's just a bunch of prices, pricing games. But when it comes down to the end of the day, 
Um, tax title on the road, no gains. I think, you know, we give me around mid, upper 20s, uh, late or early 30s when they say. Low okay, 30s. okay. That's a good deal, guys. That's a good deal. I mean, that's not much. I mean, I got a family discount, but that's not much more than what I paid. So he can hook you up. And not only just this one, he can hook you up with, Jared, you can hook them up with anything they want, right? Yeah, From window and stock. Yeah. Win, Winnebago to whatever, what, 32-footer, yeah. whatever. Yeah, we carry batch stuff. Uh, they work with people. Uh, they help get you financed, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, guys, you can't go wrong. I'm telling you, if you're in the area, uh, go ahead, Jared. I'm going to let you show. It also comes with a fire extinguisher I didn't admit, uh, mention, guys, right there on the door. You got to have that. should be. Okay, Jared's going to show you guys the roof and the solar panel up there. She is 190 watts. So, tell them what that uh, black thing is, Jared. The antenna? Yeah. That's yeah, just your digital antenna. That's your digital antenna. And guess what, guys? You get quite a bit of channels with that, Jared. I mean, I bet they had the when. I picked it up, you was able to get like 20 something channels, guys. So if you're thinking, ah, uh, you know, depending on where you're at though, but I mean, it's nice that it comes equipped. But, uh, everything's covered. Look at the silicone around each each electronic. Everything is, is like sealed to the max, guys. I mean, it, from the back, the corner bead all the way down, the thing is sealed good. I mean that's factory guys. They they really take pride in this this brand and this camper. But overall looks. I mean look at it guys. I mean this thing. I'm going to enjoy this. We're gonna have we're gonna have a good time in this camper, and I'm just looking forward to it. But We've got kayak like, racks on the very opposing side. Yep. Like uh you. tell oh yes the luggage luggage rack luggage racks. Now I want to tell you guys I've seen other people. You can do uh, you can do your kayaks on that luggage rack. You can do uh, a lot of people put more solar panels on this thing. This thing is capable to hold up to three, four. three, three or four solar panels, guys. Uh, there's room if you use the luggage rack. You can definitely get four on it. So yeah. we're talking, you know, 190 times four. So I mean, you know, that's quite a bit of power. I mean, come on. So there's limitless possibilities what you can do with this camper. I mean, I'm not gonna change one thing on it right now because I'm I'm really excited about. It. I just love the looks of it. I mean, I think you guys, if y'all was to, if somebody was want a camper, not big, this would be your choice. I'm telling you, I really highly recommend this E Pro, um, and I'll let you guys know how it goes on our first camping trip if I don't video to show you some footage, but. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Hit like and subscribe. Me and Jared both appreciate you watching. And like I said, if you're in the area, come check out Owensboro RV. Jared Osborne will hook you up. Thanks for watching.